Thanks to New for sponsoring this video. So one of my favorite things about the, the time we live in is electrification of pretty much everything. Uh, it's almost like companies making everything smart, but instead of just connecting to Wi-Fi, you can now have a ton of fun with your new EV. And New is a company that is sort of taking that and then leveling it up. So I made a video, you might remember, uh, about New a few months ago, year-ish, uh, talking about another scooter model that they make. I liked it enough to partner up with them again, talk about their latest model. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the KQI 2 Pro. Uh, this is a super dope electric kick scooter uh, that is made to work with whatever lifestyle you have, whether it's cleaning to work or just like having fun on weekends. This is sort of made to fill that section of the market. This is a scooter for everybody that can do everything. And with gas prices, at least here in California, uh, approaching $7, something that doesn't use gas seems sort of even better than before. And if you live in a really urban area, a big city where they have those rental scooters that are left out in the rain, left out with dirt, dust, you don't know who's touching them, it can get gross. Having your own can be a really good way to go. Now, before I get to everything the KQI 2 Pro can do, I've been running these now for, I mean, it seems like almost six months and I love doing it. Giveaway time, I wanna give you cash money and say thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for your support. Thank you to New for, for sponsoring this video. Super easy to enter. Leave a comment down below about what you would do with your KQI 2 Pro, where you would go. Leave your social handle. And put that up in giant letters. Leave your social handle so I can contact you if you win. Open to anyone in the world. We'll run it for two weeks, but all the information will be in the description. So, New's been around for years. They're actually a publicly traded company uh, and it's sold in 50 countries with over 2 million users. They become a really trusted name, not only in electric kick scooters, uh, but other electric vehicles as well. So the first thing to answer here, and the biggest question that I've got, I'm talking about really any EV, scooter or cars, uh, is how fast and how far can it go? So there are two models for the US and the EU markets, so the specs are like slightly different. Uh, the US model goes up to 17.4 miles per hour, and the EU model goes to 25 kilometers per hour, so basically just under 20. Uh, and I'll admit it, if you say 17 miles per hour, it doesn't sound like uh, you're setting a land speed record, but when you are on a scooter, that feels very, very fast. So it's obviously faster than walking and it's generally faster than riding a bike, but now you're doing it without breaking a sweat. So one of the coolest things about any electric thing is instant torque that you get like when you pull on that throttle. You don't want that on a scooter that you are standing on. Uh, so it actually releases the torque pretty gradually. Uh, so you're not going to get thrown off. It's not a like a jerky ride at all. It's actually really comfortable uh, and smooth. So that was question number one. Uh, the next one is how far can you go? Uh, the answer is a precise 24.8 miles or about 40 kilometers. And that is a very long distance. And honestly, it's a long time to be standing and riding this thing. So I'm guessing it's more than enough to help you with your commute or sort of get you where you are going. Once you get there, you can also get back to, which is pretty important. Generally with the KQI 2 Pro, you don't have to worry about range at all. Charge overnight, in the morning, you can hop on, get going wherever you need to go. Obviously the range is gonna vary based on a ton of factors like the terrain. So inside is a pretty nice size 365 watt hour battery. If it's cold, it won't perform as well. And if it's really hilly, I can be able to go as far. That's like a obvious stuff, right? It's a general thing to apply to really all modes of transportation, but especially EVs. But probably the best way to quantify the output of this if you go all out at full throttle, like max, you go for 30 minutes. How far that's gonna take you is going to change, but you go for quite, you can go quite a distance that amount of time. And if you do end up draining that battery, uh, you can go from empty to complete in about seven hours. So you're probably gonna wanna charge this thing overnight. There's no like fast charging for scooters. And with batteries, they do obviously degrade over time, which is something that kind of all EV owners are kind of keenly aware of. Uh, the battery though on the KQI 2 Pro uh, should last you a really long time. You could fully charge this thing 500 times before you start to notice really any dip in battery performance. And for the average rider, that's around three to four years. 
On top of that, Nu slapped a really hefty warranty on this thing that covers all your major parts, including battery for two years, which is just pretty impressive. So all of that is built into this relatively portable package. And that is exactly what Nu is going for. Uh, this is meant for someone who wants to get somewhere quickly, but they're not using it as their only mode of transportation. Uh, it's lightweight, at least for a scooter, coming in at around 40 pounds. Uh, so it's not too hard to take upstairs with you or pack in a car. Plus it folds to make it even easier. When it does like unfold, uh, it comes in at 48 inches high, um, but with the two-step folding mechanism, it can actually compact down to 20 inches. So you can easily kind of throw it in the trunk of a car um, or store it kind of out of the way while it's charging. This is awesome for like a last mile uh, style commute. So I think another area of concern when you're just standing on a thing that's moving is safety. Uh, so first, the tires play a big role in that. Uh, they're awesome here. Uh, they're tubeless and provide a lot of grip. The wheels are small, so that can make things like turning uh, and going over bumps uh, a bit harder. They still allow the ride, at least how I felt, to feel sort of stable and safe. That's really important when you're, again, on a moving platform. And when you want to stop, as may be important, Two options. So there's actually a drum brake up front that you can pull whenever you need. And the other is regenerative braking. Again, EV staple. Not only help you stop, but also is gonna help with the range of the battery since you're putting energy uh, back in it. And those two together, let you come to a stop surprisingly fast. But even though you come to a stop really quickly, you don't have to worry about being flung over the handlebars uh, as a combo of the drum brakes and the regen brakes really help reduce the skidding. And also going along with safety is the lighting on this thing as well. Uh, the reflectors on the side that can sort of help you be seen. Also a brake light in the back that shines really bright uh, when you are riding. And in the front, there's a headlight to illuminate the road uh, in front of you. And all of this can be controlled with a surprisingly awesome LED display that is built in. Uh, Functionality-wise, the screen is great, lets you control all the functions of the scooter. Uh, but I will say it's on a bit on the dimmer side. Uh, it's one area I like to see improved. So if you're you know riding in broad daylight and the sun overhead, it's gonna be a little hard to see that screen. I talked about the distance and speed you could go. You can actually adjust the output of the motors to either conserve energy or, I mean, let this thing rip. Uh, there's an e-save mode, sport, custom, and a pedestrian mode. All these let the scooter adjust the situation that you are in. Overall though, uh, the build quality and the ride of the scooter is great. All right, so that's the scooter itself, but like everything 2022, uh, it comes with an app. It lets you do a, a few cool things. Uh, the app lets you lock the scooter for extra layer of security and protection so that the motors won't work uh, even if somebody tried. You can also do things like get stats and how you're riding and sort of what you might want to change to get the best ride possible. Uh, what's great though, is you don't need to use the app at all. You can just ride the scooter thanks to that LED display, but you can make the adjustments uh, on the phone if you want. Uh, New makes some other models that might like better suit your needs too. There's a KQI 3 Pro and Sport, uh, pretty similar to the i2. They offer a little bit more range and speed. But the point is, New makes a scooter that's going to fit whatever you are looking for. If you are in sort of that scooter looking mode, whichever one you decide to get, you're gonna have a blast with them. Uh, they are fun, fast, and useful. Uh, for me, it's mostly a fun thing with scooters. Out riding these with my kids uh, is awesome. It's fun to sort of feel some wind uh, in my hair. The studio is about 30 miles away from where I live, so it's not really a primary mode of transportation for me. But if you take public transportation, you gotta go an extra mile after you get to your stop or you work close to home, this could be a vehicle replacement. Or you just wanna let it rip on the weekends, it's great for that too. Uh, New is a name that's reputable, trusted, and makes a quality product. And if you're in the market for a scooter, you owe it to yourself to check them out.